please welcome, I love Jen Hatmaker. Woo! Girl. You know, you've been through so much, yeah. and you say, Jen, that it's important to always be prepared for a crisis. Yes, I, I had several areas of my life that I had to finally figure out how to whip into shape during a crisis. And I thought, gosh, what if I would have done that sooner? And that's really true for all of us. We are, no one is immune to death or divorce or disability or disease. Like, build your life in the good light of day, because that dark night will come. Yeah. It is gonna come. Like, uh, I just remember, and this is why I love you so much and, and following you on social media, like you, you went through a really terrible yep. divorce. Yep. You've been married for a long time. You know, you had family stuff and you know. Totally. Everything just kind of fell on you at one time and That's you had right. to get prepared. You were not prepared for the crisis. I wasn't prepared. I've been married for 26 years. So I'd built my entire life as a partner. And then when the bottom fell out, that's when you realize, oh, these are the areas of my life I have not paid attention to. Yeah. Yep. So where do we start in trying to, you know, be prepared for a crisis? Let's start here. No matter where you are, if you're partnered, happily married, whatever, know your money. Um, no, Especially for like, women. For Especially women. for women. Oh, man. I didn't know anything. I didn't know how much money I made. I didn't know what I owed. I didn't know anything. You, you, hit, a, you hit a nerve right, right here. Yeah, right? You, know how much you make. What do you owe? What is your debt? Where are your bills? Where's your money been going? Check your receipts. Do you have retirement? D handle it now, because you do not want to sort this out when, the, when you are already f at the bottom of the ocean. Okay, all right, so what's next? With the, with the money's first, what's next? Mm -hmm. After that, let's go to career. Um, let's just imagine that you are the sole provider in your life, just yeah. as, cause you might be, mm -hmm. you might be, even if you're not right now. Pay attention to your career in a way that says, okay, I care about this. What? What, how do I need to invest in my work right now? Is there a class to take? Should I finish that degree? Is there some way to improve my credentials? Um, how, how can I be building my life in such a way so that if I was the only person in charge of myself, I got me? Mm, okay. Now, what, what's next? I like this money, career. Uh -huh. Let's talk about our health. Um, okay. I'll tell you what I did, Sherry. I took all that for granted, and then when everything fell apart, and that crisis put such stress on our bodies. Yeah. I, I was in the ER. I was in the ER with just at, astronomical high blood pressure and panic attacks. And there had been red, red flags and I had ignored them all. So yeah. take care of your health. Take care. This is our one body. This is it. Yeah. This is my partner for all of life. I will have one partner with me the day I'm born until the day I leave this earth. Yeah. It's this body. Yeah. So take care of yourself. So that your body, your good partner can see you through a crisis. Ooh, okay. Is there anything else was left? I'd say one more thing, and it is community. Uh, this one I had in spades. Uh, I was, when, when everything was so bad for me and I was in such turmoil, I was with like a, like a woo-woo body healer. Whatever, yeah. man, you do whatever you have to do, yeah. right? And so she was walking me through this visualization. She said, where do you see yourself? And I said, bottom of the ocean. Mm. And she said, can you kick to the surface? And I'm like, let me try. So in my brain, I'm seeing myself kick to the surface. And she's like, okay, can you spot the shore? And I said, yes. And she goes, can you just swim there? Can you get yourself to shore? And I said, I can't. Mm. I'm too tired. My heart is too broken. I'm too scared. Yeah. And she said, all right, look around, Jen. What do you see? And I said, oh, in my brain. I see a boat. And she said, who's in it? I'm like, everybody who loves me. Yeah. And I said, they are gonna haul me into this boat and row me to shore. So pay attention to your boat. Be building your community. Are you, are you in someone else's boat when they're yeah. falling apart? Right? Yeah. Nurture your relationships. Love, your, love the people in your life. And when your life goes to shreds, they will be there for you. They'll row you to that shore. So the last question is, what if people find, and I love what you're saying, but what if people find it's just too overwhelming? Oh, isn't it? Isn't it? This is why I do this in advance. Do this in advance as much as you can because it's so overwhelming in the moment. When I was walking through it, I gave myself the tiniest short-term goals. Most of the days I would say, what can I get done today? That's okay. it, end of day, five o'clock. Is there anything I can get done today? At the, at the outer reach, I said, what can I accomplish this week? Okay. I did not go further than that. Yeah. What are my short-term goals? Otherwise, I would just feel like I was drowning even more. I've done a whole bunch of courses around everything that I learned during that time. Because here's the deal. No matter how much you are in pain or crisis or suffering, you can handle it.
You can. Mm -hmm. You can learn it. You can figure it out. You can pull it together. You are your own best friend, and you can count on you.